Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And then, um, let me intro this music real quick. Uh, this is pretty obvious. This is, uh, the band's called Archaic. Um, it's, yeah, it's dungeon, it's, a uh, Spanish dungeon synth. Yeah, I had, to, I had to double check that. Oh, wait, no, whoa, 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 I got that, I got that wrong. The name of the band is called L4. Um, the album is Archaic 3. So, yeah, but like I said, the, this one here is, uh, they're from Spain. So, Spanish Dungeon Synth. So, let me go ahead and get that going. Oh. I want it to the beginning. And, um, I'm probably gonna have to turn it down from my end. Oh, yeah. yeah same thing as always. Despite me setting the volume at 50 for some reason, for some reason, in the transition between putting this cast together and start it up, it decides to jack itself up to 100. But, anyway, for today, um, I just, I just did my usual, um, just stream some idle champs, which, that went pretty good. There's a, there's a new event going on this weekend, uh, Bright Swords, I think it's called. Uh, in all the in all the events in this game, uh, I believe they happen every weekend, and uh, you can uh, you can pick up up to three different characters, which I ended up doing. And you can also do uh, you can do challenge runs, which uh, they're they're just like the sub quests in the in the normal part of the game. Um, but in these ones here, if you manage to complete them, you'll you'll potentially get uh, better equipment. For those three new champions that you got, but uh, I only did one of them because it was the uh, it was the least, or I should say it was the most doable. Like um, I think a lot of the, a lot of all the other ones, eh, I it would have required me to basically just go in with a brand spanking new group, or yeah, very or that, and I just totally got out my uh, my saved formations, my saved groups. I wouldn't be able to use them. I'd have to use this really. I'd have to use basically ass characters and having a hard time progressing and all that. So I, I think I mentioned this in one of my uh, in one of my other cast videos. Uh, one of the one of these sub quests I had to do some time ago. Um, you had to you had to complete it with only the characters that you began the game with. Yeah, that was a long slog there. Not to mention, um, I didn't use any, uh, I didn't use any, any buffs, or any, uh, consumable buffs or anything like that, or called potions in this game. But yeah, I didn't use any of them because they're a waste, because once again, you can only use the, uh, you can only use the characters that you started the game with. So, no. So, but, uh, but otherwise, uh, I tried, to uh, and... Garawar, he had another tutorial video. He brought that out like yesterday. Just um, you know, this just the tutorial guide to the event and all that, and how to do the challenges and stuff. But he, I didn't, I kind of listened for a while, but uh, a couple uh, a couple of my regulars, uh, I'm trying to remember their names. One was Martyr, Martyr. Yeah, he's he's been a regular of mine for a long time, somewhere in the probably in the three or so year range um he, he pops in and out um Ragnar Ragnar or Ragnar or something like that I can't remember but yeah he, he popped in and well you know all three of us just had some pretty good combo amongst ourselves so I wasn't really paying attention to the tutorial video much just you know, talking with him Magic the Gathering um I think Ragnar was uh, giving me some advice on how to play and you know where to move the where to move my characters and stuff like that. I mean, for those that don't know, Idle Champs is an idle game, as is obvious, but unlike most other idle games, this one here is a it's a formation-based game. Like where you place your champions in this particular formation matters. Cause uh, you know, some champions they increase the damage output of all the of all the champions in the column in front of them, to cite an example. So you know, so positioning is important. So, but anyway, he was just sitting here giving me some pointers on, you know, where to put them and stuff like that. Hey, boom, 
move Billy Bob over here and, or, you know, have Billy Bob change places with Joe Bob, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, and advice helped, and the advice really helped, so I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. Well, uh, yeah, 6 p.m. rolled around, around, um, had to get some grocery shopping done, because, or for the most part, because I forgot to do a bunch of it this morning, like, after work. I think, uh, the store manager, store manager was walking in the door, and he was, he was hanging around, around the time clock area. I, some of the, uh, some of the other managers, I'm, I'm guessing they're, man, I'm guessing they're other managers, because they were hanging around the store manager. You know, these are people I've never seen before, or seldom see. So yeah, I didn't really want to stick around there too long. And my immediate night manager, she has to like, she has to like do a walk around with these guys and that kind of thing. I, I didn't didn't really want, didn't really want to stick around to see the look on her face and all that. And, you know, just it, it it just would have been a major shit show. So I just got out of there. I mean, normally normally after I clock out. I like doing some grocery shopping, buying, you know, buying the stuff I need and all that. But like I said, never got around to it, so I had to do it. Uh, I had to do a lot of it this evening, you know, buying the stuff that I couldn't get this morning. So, so anyway, um, did that. Um, oh, and also, also as is customary at the end of a work week, I don't, I don't get diddly squat for sleep. Um, I think I got like four hours. Uh, but no, I didn't I actually didn't wake up in pain or anything like that. But even then, um, it was only like four hours of sleep, not really enough for me. So yeah, so I ended up, towards um towards six p.m. I was already beginning to nod off. So time to time to call it a session. But um later on in the evening, got all that done. Um. I think I, I think what I think it was out while I was actually putting my blog together. Um, went on Twitch, tried to get you know, try to get thumbnails and in uh, stream links and all that. And there was a there was a D and D session going on. Uh, decided to check it out. Uh, come to find out later that it was a, I think it was a princesses dice and everything nice or something like that. I got on there. Oh, okay, so it's an all-girls stream. All right, no big deal. I ain't no sexist. Uh, watch it for like a... Watch it for about a minute or two. Um, there was like fake crying going on. I think it was the black girl, like legit. Um, I think... I kind of... I kind of... I kind of... I'm kind of looking at it like cringe. And like I ended up bailing out of there, but I'll bet she, she had tears running on her face and stuff like that. It's like, holy shit. Yeah, I'm not quite there yet. Like... Still got a lot. I think I still got a long ways to go till I can actually sit on and watch watch these D and D sessions for a long period. But um, but yeah, and I think um the other, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't my one and only attempt. I kept coming back trying to you know trying to watch more and more of it. But you know I I didn't grow up what you know I didn't grow up I didn't grow up with this stuff. So I mean, definitely not going to be able to watch this stuff on the first try. I mean it ain't like. It ain't like pinball or video games, which is what I grew up with, you know. I mean, yeah, I could sit there and I could sit there and watch a pin, watch a whole pinball session from start to finish, no problem. I mean, it's it's what I love doing ever since I was a little kid. So, you know, then like now, still like watching. So yeah, I could watch a whole thing of that. Um, video games, not every single one of them, but you know, um, you know, I could, you know, I could sit there and watch a whole speed run, for example. Especially if it was one of my favorite games, like Final Fantasy Tactics, which game that first comes to mind. I could sit there and watch that from start to finish, but but yeah, like I said, D and you know, watching a D and D session. It, I mean, I this is gonna take this is gonna take a lot of getting used to. So I mean, you're you know you're seeing people with their you know emotions and it. There's another word I'm looking for. I can't remember what it was. But I'll just, I'll just see you're, you're potentially seeing the full range of emotions in these D and D sessions. So yeah, it, it's just, it, it's gonna be a whole lot of cringe, a whole lot of awkwardness. 
And I think something about this uh, princess session, it, at the time I was watching this, I think a lot of the chatters in here were men. So yeah, it's like, it's almost like I'm watching like, it's like if My Little Pony was a D&D &D session. And then and kind of fast forward to roughly a year ago, um, picked up a game called uh, Them's Fighting Herds. Kind of the same thing. I mean, it's not a, it's not an out and out knock against the game, but I'm not a brony. My Little Pony just, it just doesn't do anything for me. So I, I guess, I guess maybe it's because I'm too manly a person, or you know, or something. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink here. But yeah, I think some of the, but some of these D and D players that I'm seeing, they should uh, they should get into acting, assuming they aren't already. Okay, except now that I think about it, um, um, Critical Role, um, I, as far as I know, they're, I don't think they weren't the granddaddy of them all. They weren't the first live D, first ones to do a uh, live streaming D and D, but they're, they didn't invent it, but they perfected it. Guess that's what I'm looking for. But yeah, I mean they're they're all actors, and they're extremely popular too. So I mean, it, it kind of goes it kind of goes in line with what I was saying a few moments ago. I mean, watching some of these players, they should get into acting, assuming they're not already. So I guess probably the so I guess probably what I what I was hang on, I almost had it. It, it's kind of like, kind of like staring into the sun. You know, it's like, oh, my eyes, my eyes, you know, that kind of thing. It can blind you. So, yeah, what, you know, so watching some of these, uh, watching some of these sessions, I'm getting that same impression. Like, holy shit, this is intense. It's like intensity in 10 cities. But like I said, this is very much an acquired taste. Um... Little by little, I'm able to watch more, more and more of these. But like I said, it it's gonna it's gonna take time until I could probably watch a whole session for longer than five minutes. So I just, I just chalk it up to another pass at the whetstone. And then um, one other thing um, later on, I did try playing some more Pinball FX3, and um. Aside from a server fuck up earlier, like um, this is that this is after a, a failed attempt. I failed to I failed to beat a high score right after I failed to beat it. it the pop up came up and told me that it couldn't save my high score because of a server issue. Um, I kind of debated for a moment. I just decided to oh, go ahead and make another attempt. Cause like I said, this this attempt here was a failure. But the servers are screwing up anyway. I decided, oh, I'll go ahead and make another attempt. Did so. Ended up beating a high score. Um, I think it was uh, it was a Star Wars Acto Island. I think it was. The for those that have, I've never seen any of the the Star the the recent Star Wars movies, but I, I guess it's the one where uh, Luke Skywalker was training Rey. I think her name is the British girl, but yeah, it was that it was that part when uh, Luke Skywalker was training her. But there's a there's a pinball machine centered around that. But yeah, I ended up beating a high score on there. Um. Oh, and a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I barely beat that one though. Just barely squeaked by that one. So yeah, but I ended up winning twice. Um. I'm basically in the middle of the pack as far as the rankings go, so I should be stable enough until um, until Monday or Tuesday, whenever it's a new a new matchup league or a new week, I should say. So, but again, I might go on here once or twice more just to make sure. So, and then um, one more thing I need to I need to talk about too, and I might be saying this throughout my nights off. But uh, next week, it, um, and I forgot to mention about today too. Um, today and next week, 
I'm going to be back on my old schedule, but just for today and next week, uh, which is at 8 p.m. to 7 a.m., and I completely forgot about the drawback to it. Oh, God, my feet were hurting. Um, my, um, I don't want to say my hip, but, um, the, the right side of my back was hurting like crazy. Uh, my feet were sore as hell, which is, which is what typically happens on a 10-hour shift like this. But, uh, next week, it's going to be more of the same. They offered it to me. So, they're basically handing it to me on a silver platter. So, yeah, I, I, I got to say yes. But, again, at the time... <coughs> hang on, I'm getting hoarse. I got to take another drink. But, anyway, um, they... They offered it to me, so hell yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. Um, I also said, uh, could I just have my old schedule back? Because this was my old schedule, for those that don't know. 8 p.m. until 7 a.m. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So, but like I said, I totally forgot that this is what it does to me. Like, it really screws up my feet and ends up, uh, some other part of my body gets really sore. In this case, being the, uh, my, uh, again... It ain't my, I don't, it's not my right hip. I think if my uh, right hip is hurting, usually uh, one of my, the area around my butt, like either my, excuse me, either my left butt cheek or my right butt cheek is hurting. This time around, it's like the right side of my lower back. I don't, I don't know what that muscle area is called, but yeah, like in that case today, it was hurting. So. But anyway, so what this, so, what this means is, you, chances are, you're... Is the album over already? I gotta look at something, hold on. Okay, okay. Okay, it's a 50 minute album, so I'm alright, I'm alright. It was just, um... It was just... One, el one track was ending and the uh, next one was starting. So, anyway, what this means is, um, kind of like on Friday, there wasn't a stream, because I was just really too messed up, really, because I was too messed up to stream, so, just wasn't feeling up to it, so, this week here, it's probably going to be more of the same, once again, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, um, chances are going to be more likely that I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to stream, because they're going to be too messed up for work. But like I said, um, if I can remember to, on my other nights off, I'll go ahead and uh, bring this up again. So. But otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and call it good here. And then, um, totally forgot what I was going to say. But, oh well, but thanks for dropping in and hanging out with me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, I should be able to make another one of these tomorrow, so... But until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time.